Hey everybody, it's Amy Gretchen. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in this video, I'm working on another December daily spread, which is so crazy to say, but I'm super excited to be able to share my album from last year with you. So this is going to be day 10. And I should have combined day 10 with day nine because they go together, but I did not realize that as I was editing my last one. So this one's going to be alone, but the other ones will likely have two together, I think, except for maybe day 13 because it was a little bit more involved. But anyway, I digress. Let's hop into what we are doing. This is day 10. And I really, really loved these envelope pockets that came, I think it came in the kit. Forgive me, it's just been too long. I'm not sure if it was an add-on, but I thought it came with the kit. And I really wanted to use them. You can see that it's definitely too tall for my album, which is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, exactly. And I decided that I could just cut it off. So I knew that I would need to adhere it down or I could have maybe added something to the side and uh, punched holes in that so it looked like it was kind of floating. But I liked the idea of it kind of sitting onto a transparency. So this transparency, I think, came from American Crafts. I will look for it. I think I have linked to it before in the past because I, I believe I've used this in every December Daily album that I've had. I bought like a bunch of those pages when I bought them. I probably bought them like five or six years ago when I first started doing December Daily. So if I can find it, I will link to it. Likely, you know, it's likely that I could maybe find it at um, scrapbook.com or something like that. So anyway, you could also make your own if you've got a, like a cutting machine and the fuse tool. Uh, that That is something that I have created also, and I can link a video of how I did it with paper, but instead of paper, you could just do it with a transparency. So that is an option as well if you like the, the stars. All right, so I cut down the envelope, and you saw that I used some of my corner rounders. Those are also from American Crafts, or We Are Memory Keepers, actually, and I think technically they're the same people. And then I'm just simply putting uh, a number, the number 10, these those are numbers that I created and I will also link to that video. I loved these numbers that Allie did years ago and I wanted some, but she's not selling them. So I decided to make my own with the Glowforge. I don't own a Glowforge, but I went to my local library and they had one and they actually helped me use it and I was able to create these. So if you ever want to play around and use the Glowforge, check around your area to see if maybe someone's got one. The reason why I got this idea is because I saw the Glowforge at Joann's, but it's broken. So anyway, I was able to find one, super cool. I'm definitely going to create something this year, another number set. I'm not exactly sure what the design will be, but I'm kind of excited about it because I really loved using those numbers. And I do have a ton left over, so you will definitely see more of those in my 2022 album. All right, so I am adhering my photo onto the back side of day nine. And I think, yeah, I just used the tape for that. And you'll see that I'm going to use day eight to help me get, you know, punch the holes correctly. And I'm using another We Are Memory Keeper Keepers uh, product, which is the Cropodile. <laughs> it's like hard to keep them all straight, right? I really love the Cropodile because you can punch through really thick chipboard. I think it's really awesome. So I'm also uh, punching the hole through the transparency as well. And then I'll end up putting everything back in the album. So for all intents and purposes, I'm pretty much done except for I want to add a little bit of flair, right? I want to add something to make it a little bit special. Right there you can see that I was trying to decide if I wanted to make that 10 red, but it's interesting because as I was editing this video, I realized that I think that 10 would be really cool as a green, maybe a dark green color, because it was kind of play off the tree that's in the photo, but I didn't do it. And one of the main reasons why I left it natural is because I used that Mary piece of wood and that was also natural. So I just decided to keep, you know, everything natural. So they kind of felt like they went together. And one last thing that I wanted to add, because I wanted there to be just a little bit more flair, a little bit more texture, right? So I had these heart 
clips. I can't even remember where I got them from. Honestly, it was probably Etsy and I will definitely look for that shop. I'll go look in my history for that. But I don't actually do my journaling here because I wanted to type that all out, but you will see that in the photos. So that's it for day 10. Thank you guys so much for joining me and we will see you next week for day 11 and 12. See you then. <laughs>